me burn But that's alright Because I like the way it hurts Just gonna stand there and hear me cry But that's alright Because I love the way you lie I love the way you lie How you doing? Well, how's your week been? I know mine's been pretty productive and I put that down to one thing and that's staying off the internet. <laughs> that's right. Um, I've decided I'm going to limit my time uh, that I'm online uh, just as an experiment because I really want to start to cut back and focus on, on me and doing uh, more of my art. So I'm going to try and be online only three days a week, Monday, Thursday and Sunday. Um, if I can. It's going to take a little while to wean myself off because I've spent so much time over the last couple of years on the internet, um, you know, building up a social network, um, blogging, videoing, all of that sort of thing. Uh, and I feel now I've got to the point where I just need to really focus on um, my art and just, you know, channeling energy into actually getting some stuff done. And it's surprising how much you can get done when you don't sit on your ass. <laughs> well, you do sit on your ass, but you just do it in a different, a different way. And I'm not saying being online isn't productive because it is, and it has its benefits. But you know, you know what I mean. I don't have to explain it. Okay, so I want to give a quick shout out to Jill Wolf, who sent me a package this week full of um, jewelry and bits of material and. I think some of it was her grandmother's jewellery um, and just bits, of, bits and pieces uh, to use in assemblage. So thank you Jill, I was like gobsmacked over the moon about it um, and I appreciate you sending me some stuff. Um, Eric said to me, what? Look at all that cool stuff. I went, yeah. I said taste it. Nooch. <laughs> um, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so. I want to show you, if you remember last week from the last video I should say, I was um, showing you uh, what I was doing with uh, the Citrusol and I started a big canvas. Well I want to show you the results of that and talk about it a little bit and um, yeah, alright, let's do it. Okay so this is the big canvas and I've got it standing up. Um, the area that I particularly like is around this area and as you can see it's got some really nice cool lines and that was created by laying a uh, cling film over the top and letting it dry and when you pull the cling film off it leaves all of the creases which looked really cool. I also thought this area looked really nice as well um, and that was by just laying another piece of um, National Geographic on top and then pulling it off uh, much later. So pretty much this section here I was really happy with. The rest of it, well, it didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, there's certain areas that have done some nice things, but overall, um, I didn't get the results that I was hoping for. But in saying that, you know, I can come over with paint and now start to build up more tones and more layers um, that way. So, you know, it's a great base to start with. Um, I also did another quick one. Um, something that I found by gluing straight onto canvases, no matter how much I tried, I still got some air bubbles trapped under the National Geographics. Now what I did was, when I actually put them on, I actually uh, wet them a bit so they were a bit damp. And that did help a bit, but um, yeah, I still found that there were some with bubbles underneath it. But so I've done one on board as well. This is just a, a stretch canvas board. Um, there was no bubbles on this one when I glued it down because of obviously the rigid surface but um, a couple of nice things happening but generally mm, I'm not sure I particularly like it too much. Uh, that area was quite nice there and I sort of like the red but yeah. Um, but once again yep just needs to be worked over and added as another layer. 
So it's something to try. Okay, so these are some of the uh, sardine can shrines that I've been working on this week. Now what I'm doing is basically laying down the basics. And that's putting them together, uh, putting interesting bits and pieces together um, on them first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it all down and then I'm going to paint them all one colour and then slowly build up lots of tones and textures and um, sort of make them become more of a complete piece rather than seeing all of these little separate images and I think that's the secret for me for assemblage is to take a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't really relate to each other and uh, combine it in a way that it does and it actually looks like one piece so you know that's what I'm gonna do um, I was making a bird nest one which was pretty cool I thought um, this one's uh, quite like the design of this one um, this came out of an old barometer and I thought that looked quite nice. It almost looks a bit, I don't know, steampunky, art deco -y type thing, and I quite like that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I've also been making some moulds, because I want to actually have some new faces uh, to put in the shrines. Um, so what I do is I generally make my own moulds. Um, I bought this one from a shop. It's just a resin-based... Um, ornament and this was a part of a a larger body it was like a um, uh, an angel um, so what I've done is I've just put um, some slip over the top which is just fine clay painted it over and then um, mixed up a batch of uh, plaster Paris put the mask in there like that let it dry add water because basically you this uh, slip is creating a barrier between the actual um, mask and the actual plaster so it won't stick and once you apply water to this it just goes back to um, liquid it goes back to clay really and then you're able to release it and then use your clay and push in now what I do from here is I customize them even further I'll change the shape a little bit I might add some eyes I'll add more details so you know I'm taking something that's originally someone else's design and then I'm customizing it to create something that's uh, unique and, and mine. And um, yeah, like I said, in a couple of days when they're a little bit harder I can carve with the drill and stuff and then I can set, set them into my uh, sardines. Um, these two here, I've just, yesterday I posted a new challenge on um, Love and Mixed Media, that's my social network. It's the Scream Challenge and um, basically it was up to uh, the artists to come up with their own version of the Scream and they could do anything. This one's a Citrusolve uh, version, I call it the Citrus Scream and that's just using all Citrusolved papers that I've done with National Geographics. And the other ones are still a work in progress and that's done with oil crayons, a little bit of stencils, um, acrylics, and yeah, so that's not finished. Um, all of my plexi blocks, I've been adding more stuff to them to create more layers. Um, just, yeah, playing around with them. So, you know, I've been having a lot of fun this week, doing lots of different stuff. So I want to end by saying a big thank you to Jennifer Hopkins for blogging uh, an article about me on her blog site called Mixed Media Man. I'll post the link down below to the blog so you can have a read of what she said. Uh, you know, I appreciate it so much. Now, I appreciate you guys really, you know, helping me out by spreading the word about my channel and, um, and my name because, you know, you guys help me and hopefully I help you with showing you my techniques and just coming up with a whole bunch of crazy um, creative ideas. Okay, anyway, I've talked enough. Have a great week and I hope I've inspired you to go out and just try something different. And um, yeah, stay strong, live long. Later. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes.